What's up everybody, Mike here from Ultimate Bootstrapper and today I'm going to show you how you can migrate your hosting from GoDaddy to Cloudways. And this will actually work with whatever host you have, you know, if you have Bluehost or HostGator, whoever you have, you can still easily migrate to Cloudways. And then, so you might want to ask yourself, why should I even do this? Why should I migrate to Cloudways? And in short, it is cheaper and faster than most of the other hosts out there. Um, so here is a little example. Um, this is the server response time. This was measured using GT metrics. Uh, this is what they call the waterfall. And so the top one here, this is GoDaddy's response time. And basically it is about 0.7 seconds for these two files here. And this is just getting your information from the server. Anytime anyone accesses it, that your information on your website, they need to do this. So this takes 0.7 seconds. Cloudways, the exact same files, only takes about 0.2 seconds, right? So you just saved half a second right there. And really the biggest difference that I noticed was on the back end, where my WordPress site and my WooCommerce was just loading so much faster it wasn't getting stuck i could move as fast as i wanted to so those are the reasons that i switched um it's also a lot cheaper uh before i was paying 49.99 with godaddy because i had to keep on upgrading because my site was slow and i was adding more sites and now i'm just paying 20 it's actually 22 dollars a month uh with cloudways and it's it's been so much better um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to cloudways.com and you can get the free demo server. It's a free seven day trial and there's no credit card or anything required. So we'll go there and you can click start for free, start a free trial. And wait for this to load up here. And so I actually have a Uh, plan with them already um, this will be my second plan uh, I will log into this just so I can show you guys how you can set up the free trial and how you can migrate your site so you can sign up with them uh, you'll need to verify your email verify the email they send you um, and next we want to pick our website so let's see if we can just put these side by side and Yep, so we want to verify the email. Once you do that, pick your website. So if you have WordPress, pick that. If you have WooCommerce, pick that version. Um, we will do this with just regular WordPress. Uh, name your application. Okay, Ultimate Bootstrapper. Uh, my server, we'll just call this Cloudways. Uh, project, doesn't really matter. Um, you can name it whatever you want, or you don't have to name it. That's fine too. Um, now you're picking uh, which server you use. Uh, I recommend DigitalOcean. You have some others here. Um, to be honest, I don't know too much about them, but I know DigitalOcean is good. Um, then your server size, um, we'll make this full screen again. If you just have one site, you could click on one gigabyte, and that's $10 a month, or if you have more than one site, two gigabytes. So you can try it out either way. I have a few sites, so I'm just doing two gigabytes. And then you wanna pick your server that is closest to your customers. So if your customers are in the US, pick San Francisco or New York, yeah, you pick wherever your customers are. So mine are closer to San Francisco. And then you click launch now. So this is actually gonna launch the server and they let you try it out for free for seven days. So. It's actually pretty cool. We'll launch this right now. And they say down here, you will not be charged during the trial period. Um, okay, adding it. Get $20 in free credit, save on your invoice if you invite your friends. So that's another good thing. If they click on your link, you will be able to get $20. So that's pretty nice. Um, so here, this will say it's going to take seven minutes. So we can get ready for the next step while that server is getting ready. All right, so the next step that you're gonna wanna do is go and log into your WordPress site 
and we're going to install the Cloudways WordPress Migrator plugin. So go to your WordPress site and then after that put wp-admin and login. So I'll do that here, log into my site, and I want to click on plugins, add new, and here you can just type in Cloudways and it should be the first one that shows up. Yep, here it is. Cloudways WordPress Migrator. So we're going to click install now. And once that has installed, go ahead and activate it. And then you should see it on the left here. It'll show up right here in your dashboard. And here you're going to have to put in this information. So this information we'll get from Cloudways. So now we go back to Cloudways and we wait the seven minutes for our server to be ready. Um, so mine I actually set up a few days ago. Um, and so it is ready. Uh, so here you'll have servers and you can see that you can toggle here between servers and applications. We don't need another server. What we need is an application, which is basically just a website. So I have site one here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add another one. It's on my server, just the only one I have. And select my application. OK, do this again. WordPress, name your app. Ultimate Boot Strapper and go ahead and add that application. And so this is basically just your website and it'll give you all of the credentials that you need. So it says this will take uh, approximately two minutes. So we can just wait for that to finish. All right, so now that your application or website has launched, you will be able to see all of your access details here. And so this is what you're going to put into the Migrator plugin. So if you go back here and you see all these options here, what you have to put in for the Migrator plugin. So here for your email, you just want to put in any email address. This is just going to send you a notification once the migration is finished. And so I have a picture here of the screenshot. So here you'll be able to see your application URL. You put that right here. Your database name, put that right here. Server public IP address, put that here. And here is where you're going to actually create an SFTP username and password. So go ahead and create those, input them here. Uh, you can click agree there and go ahead and click migrate and that will start the process. And so you don't need to worry about your old website going down. This isn't going to change anything on your old website. This is just going to make a copy and put it on the Cloudway servers. So go ahead and click migrate and you'll see this screen. And so this is going to tell you it'll take one to four hours for your migration to complete. So while this is going on, you can actually close the window and you can go do something else and it will send you an email once your website has finished migrating. So once you've migrated your site, it's time to actually point your website or your URL to your Cloudway server. So first go into Cloudways under domain management and click on add a primary domain. And here you're gonna put your website, click save changes and now we're going to point this domain to our Cloudways servers. First, we need to go to Cloudways and get our public IP address. And this is going to be the same public IP address that we use for the Migrator plugin. So if you look at your access details, it'll be right here on the right hand sign, public IP. Go ahead and copy that. Now go into GoDaddy, click on your domains, then DNS management. And now we're going to change the IP address in the A records to your new Cloudways IP. So once you go into DNS management, you should see your old IP address here. We're going to go ahead and edit that and we're going to put the new IP address in. And this is going to be the same process if you have another registrar. So if you have Namecheap, for example, same thing. You go to where your domains are in Namecheap, their domain list. Then you're going to go to advanced DNS 
and here all the places that you see your old IP address go ahead and put your new Cloudways IP address now once you click Save Changes your website will start pointing to your new Cloudways hosting and you're gonna need to wait for the new changes to take effect and they say this can take up to 24 hours but it usually just takes a few hours so right now take an hour or two break and come back and then check what's my dns.net and you're going to want to see if your new cloudways ip address is listed so if you go here and you put in your website and search on the right hand side you're going to want to see your new ip address here that means that now your site is propagated successfully throughout all these servers throughout the world and so remember, this process can take a few hours, so don't panic if it isn't showing up right away. And thanks for watching, and check out ultimatebootstrapper.com for more tips.